I just want to point out real quick. Notice the U shape <laughs> of this closet bar. <laughs> guys welcome back to our channel we hope you're all doing well we are just getting our weekend started here jared's here too hey guys <laughs> we have a ton of stuff to move oh my gosh you guys we're a little bit stressed because we have so much to do before we move luckily it's the weekend so we don't need to worry about work and we can just focus on getting everything done that we need to First off, we need to say thank you to all of your amazing suggestions on how we should get all of our furniture to Florida or if we should sell it or store it. Like there are so many different options. So thank you, thank you for all of your suggestions. It's crazy, so many of you, it sounds like, have made big moves like that. So it's good to know that it is possible. And so we're just trying to figure out the right way. So we'll keep you updated with that. Also, a little update on Mr. Finley. <laughs> you guys, he's doing a little bit better. He definitely is still not himself. You can kind of just tell he just is tired and doesn't feel too good. So we're gonna keep working on this little ear infection he has and hopefully he gets better. And if not, then we may need to take him to the vet. One other thing we are really excited about, when we got back into town, we had quite a few packages waiting for us because you guys, it's the holiday season. Christmas is just around the corner and Black Friday is next week, which that means big deals, which we are so excited about. So we have chose a few of our favorite products that we're gonna be sharing with all of you over the next week. And today's I'm really, really excited about. So we've partnered with this company before. The company's name is Ana Luisa and they create just the most beautiful pieces of jewelry. wearing one of them right now. You guys, look how beautiful this one is. So it's this dainty, simple black circle with this little diamond. But the coolest part about this one is it's reversible. So if I were to take it off and flip it around, look how cute it turns into this pretty gold sun with a little diamond in the middle. They also source from raw materials and so they have a sustainable mission, which is always a great thing. Their prices range from $39 to higher end pieces. So there's a price point in there for everyone. One of the reasons I love this company is the quality of their pieces. So look at this one. This one they sent over is a new piece they have. It's just a simple gold heart. How cute is that? I love that with these pieces, you can stack them, you can layer them. That's really fun to do and they all come with the different hook layers so you can make them more short or longer depending on how you like to wear your necklaces, which is awesome. I have to show you this cute one that I ordered for a few people that are expecting that I know, but how cute is this mama necklace? I just love that so much. I love giving jewelry pieces as gifts. I feel like it's such a memorable gift and every time the person puts that on, it usually has a special meaning behind it. So I always really enjoy receiving gifts like this. And the good news is you guys, they are currently offering an exclusive Black Friday sale. So make sure you head over to their website. It's analuisa.com slash Britt BF for Black Friday to go find the perfect Christmas gift for your loved ones. I can promise you they'll cherish it every time they put it on. All right, so Jared, what's for breakfast? Ooh. Um... I don't see anything <laughs> over on the stove right now. <laughs> Uh, we don't really have much in the fridge. We've been gone a little while. We've been gone. We're moving in two weeks, so we literally don't have much. We're gonna be eating food storage. Yeah, we literally <laughs> probably mac and cheese and top ramen for the next yeah. little bit. But hey, that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and start packing and getting things ready to move. You guys, 
guys, so let's just show you what we got going on in here. So this is Tip and Nick's like workout room that we've kind of overtaken with a lot of our stuff. I've been sorting through the stuff. Do any of you guys ever just have like random stuff that you don't know what to do with so you put it in a place? Well, this is that place for me. <laughs> it's so funny, I was going through some of these things. Jared, look what I found. This oh is my like gosh, yes. Finn's little. <laughs> Yeah, we used Finn one time at, for Halloween. We night. dressed him up as Cinderella because we couldn't find any other dog outfit. Yeah, this was two Halloweens ago. Yeah, it was two <laughs> Halloweens ago. Finn, you remember that? So yeah, yeah. found that. Jared loves popcorn, you guys. I that know. is his ultimate favorite treat, I would that say, is my ever. Pleasure for sure. Yes, <laughs> for sure. So a lot of this stuff is going to be going into storage and. Ooh. Definitely your snow pants. Yes. Pants. All winter clothes are gonna be going in storage. I gotta show them this. You guys, check out these snow pants. So, <laughs> wait, can I show them the behind? Yeah. This is so funny. When okay. Was learning how to ski. No, 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 that's not from that. Do you guys <laughs> see how this is like brown right here? Okay, do you know what this is from? This is from when we were dating and it snowed really yeah. bad one night and you wanted to pull me in the sled behind the car on the roads. Oh, yeah. And you guys, the sled was so thin, it was like a saucer, and it literally like disintegrated, and I was just sliding <laughs> on my bum in like the muddy snow all throughout the streets. It was so much fun. And it I was, would totally do it again. It was really fun. But that is what that is from. I am hoping it snows once before we leave. That'd be cool to see. That would be cool I am gonna miss the snow a little bit, you guys. I love to ski. Hey, it's but it's gonna be for not that long, so we'll yeah. be back soon enough. I know, we'll be back soon enough, that's Don't true. Don't you worry. We need to tell them though what we found out about the storage unit, oh, which yeah. is awesome. Okay, so right now we have a storage unit, and it's a five by 10, we're paying like 85 bucks a month or something like that. Yeah, it's super tall, so like we just have boxes on boxes on boxes and bins stacked all the way to the ceiling. Well, I looked it up and I found out if we get a 10 by 10, so double the size, but not on the first floor, which we currently have, we will actually save $7 a month, so about $84 a year that we'll be saving. We'll have twice as much space. Yeah, so we're thinking we can take some of the furniture that we definitely want to keep, but not this? take with us, like this. You guys, we have we just left this in the plastic ever since we moved in here, which I'm actually really happy about, because that means we don't have to rewrap that whole thing. So all of our furniture, like this, our coffee table, the couch, our chairs, all of that stuff, plus even some more, yeah. we can actually fit into that 10 by 10. And then everything that's in our current five by 10, we'll put into the 10 by 10. So many five by 10, by 10, by five by 10. <laughs> <laughs> so we are really excited with that. We think that that's kind of the game plan. So we will move everything to a bigger storage unit, just take like the essentials with us and then either buy some stuff out there or rent. I actually found a few rental companies with furniture that we could rent, but with Black Friday and everything coming up, we yeah. kind of feel like we could get some good deals. We have found some killer deals on mattresses and couches and chairs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I know Wayfair's a really good one. A lot of you guys mentioned like if there's an Ikea, if there's any other places, drop them in the comments down below that you think we should check out for good furniture deals because we are thinking that's probably the way to go because in the new house, which will be there in about a year. So it's gonna come pretty quickly. We are gonna need furniture, more furniture than we currently have to fill that up as well. So Plus we wanna keep the furniture that we have. We really like it, we feel like it's good quality. So that's the game plan to this point. We're in the storage room. We have a few more just random things. Babe, do you remember we have these Ottomans oh back gosh, here? Yes. And look at all that stuff oh right my gosh, there. Oh we got those tables up there with the panda head. Oh, we can lose those. If that falls off the truck, it wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got all these bins here. Oh my gosh, you guys, moving is just the worst. Jared yeah. gets to go through this bag. Yeah. So this is from when we moved in here. I have a few DI files. I think, yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna focus on today. That's what I've been focusing on. I'll show you kind of what I've done already, but yeah. Jared needs to go through these clothes. I think a lot of these are actually summer clothes, cutie. Yeah, actually I'll just take this bag and be good to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do any of you guys have these bags? Jared swears by these. I'm on the edge about them. I absolutely love them. So you literally <laughs> just pack it full up until like wherever the line is. Clearly. I've, yeah, well I've done a vlog on this. And then once you seal it, you can actually suck it down. Yeah, so you put your vacuum in there. Yeah, the vacuum hose right there and it sucks down. So you basically can't pack it above this line. 
Hence why it says stop. <laughs> That's probably why this thing is busted open. <laughs> but these I, things work wonders. Yeah, so Jared uses those a lot. I think I'm debating on how I'm gonna store a lot of my clothes. I have a lot of nicer like blazers and winter jackets and things like that that I don't want just like squished up. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I just feel like it makes all your clothes crinkly. I love bins, but I've never really stored a ton of clothes before. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know. So let me show you what I got going on over in our room right now. So I've been going through my clothes. As you can tell, I have quite a few winter clothes because obviously we live in Utah and it's cold here. So I have a ton of like long sleeve sweaters. These are all my blazers. I have a lot of like long dresses. I just want to point out real quick, Notice the U-shape <laughs> of this closet for <laughs> Hey, but this is all my clothes. Just notice really quick. This is literally all my clothes, you guys. So. Minus what's in there in the store that you just saw. But there's not that many in there. That's true. That's that was all your giant big bag. I don't have any giant hidden bags. This is it. I think I do a pretty good job. I went through and got rid of kind of all of the random stuff. I have a few bags I want to get rid of. Oh, my mask. I've been looking for this. Oh yeah, I found that. Yes. <laughs> His scuba thing. We're going to yeah. need that for Florida. No, seriously. We're going to need this for sure. Yes. I have like suitcases down here, but I'm kind of proud of myself because everything that's in here now, I'm going to be either taking with us, like our suitcases or storing away. One thing I've done in the past is you kind of bundle together your clothes and then you put a garbage sack over it and tie off the end so everything stays on the hangers and then you can just like lay them on top of each other. Let me know if you've ever done that. That's kind of what I'm thinking about the clothes I'm taking with us. And then all my other winter clothes, I'm thinking I'll just probably just fold them and put them in bins in the storage unit. And then let me show you, I went through our dresser here. We have this Ikea dresser that I do want to keep. It's a really nice dresser. And I've been going through that and I have a few piles of stuff that I want to keep, but they're more warm clothes, so I don't really want to take them with us. So I'll be keeping like this pile, but I'm going to pack it away. And then I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to see if any of my sisters or anyone wants any of it. And if not, then we'll be donating a bunch of stuff as well. So this took a while though. I'm pretty proud to say that I went through this entire dresser. So that one's done. One other thing that we have from our move that we never even took the plastic off of is this cute bench that goes at the foot of your bed. Little Finny loves it, huh? Sometimes he'll just lay on it. Usually I have a blanket on it. So this we'll put in our storage unit too, huh? Yes, 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 yes. You're so cute. And I don't think we've ever shown you this room. So this is the kids' toy room slash Jared's closet. <laughs> so if you guys can tell, from pretty much here to there is mostly winter clothes. Yes. Minus a few like, you know, here and there, button up short sleeve shirts. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we're gonna be just putting away. That's so nice, because this is like the big bulky stuff. Like yeah. we're not gonna have to pack that stuff, I know. which is I'm awesome. I'm gonna use those vacuum bags for <laughs> Oh boy. That means there's gonna be a lot of ironing, buddy. No, you don't have to do it, because literally you just go, you put it in the washer and dryer, it comes out nice and soft. Well, that's, that and could be the case. That's yeah. true. We'll see. You guys, let us know if you've ever used those. In the meantime, I was just noticing Little Miss Bella, you guys, look how funny this is, but this was my <laughs> hopscotch when I was a little girl. And when we moved out of my grandma's house, this was there, and so Tiffany must have brought it for Bella. But look how fun this is. I remember, like, countless hours. Can anyone else relate playing this? <laughs> I would play this all the time. It brings back a lot of fun memories, the hopscotch. So it's really fun that we get to keep it in the family and cute little Bella is using it. All right, you guys. Well, we are just wrapping things up. Ooh, is that the Sprite? Mm -hmm. This is the limited edition Sprite. So it's got cranberry in it. So it's the winter spice cranberry. Can I try it? It sounds really yummy, but let's see. The official taste is. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good, crazy. Huh? It tastes like Sprite, like right off the tip of your tongue, but then it's followed up and it almost tastes kind of like, um, what's the stuff you like boil on the stove? Wassel. It's wassail? I don't even remember what wassail tastes like. Wassail? You but know, I guess it's like the like, yeah. Christmas flavor. This tastes like the stuff that my mom makes during Christmas. It's really, yeah, it's like with the cranberry, the cinnamon. In fact, I'm going to sue Sprite because it's still my mom's <laughs> recipe. <laughs> it's really good though, you guys. I think I'm going to close out the vlog here sipping on Sprite Wassel. Right, yeah. That's what they should have named it, Sprite <laughs> Wassel. But thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Before we go, I did just want to say really quick, 
You guys are just pretty incredible. This year has been kind of crazy for a lot of us. As you know, we obviously choose to share our life on YouTube with all of you. Even though we haven't been the most consistent which we feel really, really bad about. So many of you have always supported us and been there for us and been so understanding because we've had just a lot of kind of crazy things happen, which all of us have. But anyways, I just want to give a special thank you to all of you that are here, supportive, spreading happiness, and leaving just really awesome comments. They honestly bring smiles to our face and mean so much. So yeah, thank seriously. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. For spreading that positivity going into Thanksgiving. I just felt like I really needed to share that with all of you guys. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today, you guys. If you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also just a reminder, you guys go check out Anna Luisa. Go to analisa.com slash Jared Britt, BF for Black Friday, and check out some of their fun deals too. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for us tonight. We love you so much, and until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.